The Sesh Podcast, episode 171, take one. Hello, misters. Hello, sisters. Hello, titty twisters. Woo! And fisters. That's, I was just going to say that, girl. Thank you. Of Thank course. You. We got to represent. We have to represent for everyone. That's right. Welcome back to the sesh. We don't know much, but we know that we love you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We've been singing all morning. We don't know much. We've been singing Lionel. Yes. Oh, Stan. yeah. That's not Lionel, but we were singing well, we Lionel. We were singing. Too. I don't know who that all is. Oh, man. Long. Oh, man. Starting off strong for the ones that love the singing. And you know what? Actually, last week, there were a lot yeah. of comments of we're they're pro singers. So thank you. We're here to give you what you want, people. Mm-hmm. This is our job to make you happy. I am going to be releasing an EP. That would be <laughs> kind of iconic. Sesh EP. Speaking of music, have you listened? I know you have. Oh, oh listen yes. to Casey's new album. Girl, you know it. I am so thrilled. Casey I, is back where she belongs. What do you think? What are your thoughts? I love it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I feel like whenever someone's album comes out, you instantly compare it to their old work, and of course. Like, you know, you get a little judgy on it. But I'm I'm warming up to a lot of it, and beautiful lyrics, beautiful, beautiful lyrics. lyrics. It. It's beautiful. I'm kind of happy that it's not extremely country, but it's not mm. like a ballad. You know what I mean? Yes. Like it's very. It's it's the perfect medium. Yep. Mm. Love it. I listened to it all night last night. Yeah, all guys. It's called long. <laughs> <laughs> You did listen all night long. <laughs> it's called Deeper Well. It's so good. You guys know Casey is my one true person that I stand. And Seth. And Seth Rogen. Yes. Those two. My dream have, dinner dates. Do you have a favorite song on the album yet? I really like the song Architect. <gasps> yes. Oh my it's God. Beautiful. I love that song. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It. You told me it's to just to. beautiful. The, just the lyrics are really good. Mm-hmm. Very deep. You can tell she's been reflecting. And uh, yeah, people. it's not for me. I love country. So I it, I would like it to be more country, but I'm glad there are some there's a little banjo in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I think there's some mandolin a tiny bit, maybe. And yeah, it's just got like a more acoustic, true to her roots feel. Um, but it's because last her last album wasn't really my jam. It was too poppy for me. So, yeah, I like that. It's kind of a mix. Yeah, it's it's very good. good. It's very good. What Check was it her out. last album? Star it was yeah, Star Crossed. Is that the like Golden mm-hmm. Hour one? And everything? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. That's Golden. I was gonna say forever, that one favorite. is like so mm-hmm. good. Yep. No, this one was like about her divorce, I believe. Uh, Star Cross was about her divorce. Star Crest was yeah, yeah. Star Crossed. Star Crossed. Mmm, Crest sounds good. I'm yeah, starving. Crest and Crest my protein shake over here. Kendall has three drinks going on. Can you give us a haul? Oh yeah. So this is my um protein shake. Mm-hmm. It's for sustenance. And then I have my coffee for energy and my water for hydration. Woo! Woo! I'm a drink goblin. You are. Girl, I be staying hydrated. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sid is here? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Welcome back, Sid. We I'm missed back. you. I know. I missed you guys. I was dying. Well, no, I just <laughs> was really sick. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> Clarifying that. Yeah, no. All Had the flu. Well. Yeah, I mean, it was... You had the flu? I got Tamiflu, yeah. Like, that medicine. Uh, oh, I thought that Tamiflu oh, was the like name of the safe illness. Way shit, no? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, she had the Tamiflu. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... The doctor gave me Tamiflu. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, it's not... Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm it, it really better. helped. Like, good. kicked it in the butt. So good. That Tamiflu... Mm. Thank God Damn, for her. Tamiflu. Is that oh, like great. Tamiflu? Is it like a Z-Pack? Uh, I don't... I need mm. myself a little Tammy. Tammy, go and go and get yourself some Tammy. I need some Tammy. <laughs> mm. Tammy, mm. Tammy. Well, anyway, guys, speaking of Tammy, we have a lot to talk about today. Um, <laughs> we <laughs> we are coming back hot with a lot of CSI today. A lot of CSI. Yes, a lot of crimes happening out there. Yep. Some of them are fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, also, we're going to be talking about the Love is Blind reunion because we know you guys want to hear it. Yep. Some of you are sick of hearing about Love is Blind, but some of you are just begging us to talk about the reunion. So we will do a little bit of a recap. There's not that much to say on it, honestly. And also, I'm crossing my fingers that BBC is going to come out with a big announcement between now and <laughs> an hour from now. God, Kate Gate has blown up. Blown up since we last covered up. up. Yeah, there's rumors out there that BBC is on standby. Which they've been saying this from like the royal three family. Days now. And it's not sure. confirmed, though. It's probably not true bunch of scandals i want to know what's going on i do too I'm okay really i'm into it so i learned something recently we kind of talked about it so her name is Catherine, right right yeah. she goes by kate right the media calls her kate but she goes by Catherine. correct i don't know i don't know because that's because i just looked her up and it said Catherine, princess of wales 
So I'm wondering if she goes by Catherine in her personal life and like with those people like physically around her and if the of the media just calls her Kate Middleton instead Maybe. of Catherine. Huh. I don't mm. know. Because, yeah, I, I also saw a comment um, last week that somebody, you know, somebody said that that the media, Kate is like a media name for her. Interesting. But yeah. why? Because it's why not, not like we with... don't know her real name. And if it's Catherine with a C or is it Catherine with a K? No, it's Catherine with a C. C. So then why not go with C, like Kate with a C? Like Caitlyn Jenner? Or like C-A-T-E, like switch it up on everybody. Why not go with a K? Be super unique. You don't know. Ask her husband. Yeah, let's ask him. Let's call him up real quick. Ask Willie. Willie! Willie! What is Willie doing? Who knows? Mm, There's a lot of rumors about Willie. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are like, why didn't you touch on all the rumors about Willie doing things to her? And I'm like, well, because they're rumors. They be rumors. There's no proof. And Although, I know a lot of people believe that. Who knows? There's also rumors of uh, of cheating scandals from him. Lots of ch- yeah. cheating. But how uh, does anyone know? It's just like sources. And especially with this family, they're so out of reach. It's oh, like, how does yeah. anybody really know what's anything? going on? Exactly. No, I feel like you really can't know everything or anything. Well, but, is anything like his daddy? Daddy. Wait, his daddy Harry? No, no Harry's um, brother. Oh. Yeah. Mm, what's Char- his daddy's name? Charles. Charles is yeah. not doing well. No. That's what a lot of you were saying is like, this is a distraction. Have you seen Charles' cover up. hands though? Yeah, they big. They're, They're like real big. Purple big. sausages. Mm-hmm, they are. <laughs> it looks kind of scary. I think he has scary. something wrong oh. though. Okay. I could be wrong, but I thought. Well, no I thought, disrespect to his hands. Also, isn't he also like a million bajillion years old? Yeah, yeah somewhere around right. there, he'd like be, a million or be old. a jillion. Yeah, something like that, a million jillion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what else do we have? People also think that his wife's divorcing him. Camilla? Oh, I'm like, that's kind of fucked up to do to his ass. <laughs> Get yeah. that life insurance, funny girl. <laughs> She's like, I'm out. <laughs> Anyways. I know, people them. hate her. Why? Because she she was the reason. She ruined Princess Diana's relationship with him. And Do you know the history? The royal culture. Not as much as I should. He was cheating well, on yeah. Diana with Camilla. Yeah, yeah. She was the other woman. How anyway. old would Diana be if she were alive? Good question. I don't know. She was born in 1961. Mm, so she's my dad's age. 60s. So like 60. Well, math was Maddie. 63. Uh, two, I think. Okay, who cares? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, we're also going to possibly be playing Am I Getting Played? Maybe, but... I don't know. We have a lot of other hot. things to say. But also, like... We have all these other topics. So. Yeah, there's just so much to go over. It depends. And you know us. We get on tangents. Keep sending those stories. We got some yeah. really, really good ones. Yeah. Well, today I would like to start with an important message. Okay. This is something I saw this weekend and it really hit home with me and I wanted to share it with you guys and just kind of educate and uplift. I can't tell if you're being serious or not, but I... Got- I am being serious. Okay. If it's clear if it's white, nice. <laughs> if it's yellow, if it's green, you're going to go get it checked. If it's clear if it's white, nice. If it's yellow, if it's green, you're going to go get it checked out. A little bit here, a little bit there. Ooh. It's on my underpants. I don't mind because if it's clear, if it's white, that's nice. If it's yellow, if it's green, you're going to go get it checked out. Go to Doc Doc, get it checked out. That's right. If it's white, I already told you that's nice. If it's yellow, color, if it smells real strong, Where is this? Get it checked out. If it's clear and white, that's nice. All right, that's enough. Slapping. Yeah, just, this is you know, access reproductive something. So it must be like some type of. Yeah, I like that. That's very informative. It, it is. is. People don't know about discharge. We need to talk about it more. Yeah, no, we need if it it's normal. White or if it's clear, it's nice. Mm-hmm. If, mm-hmm. It's it's yellow, green, if it's green, get it checked out. Yep. That's right. Message of the day. <laughs> it's smelly or itchy. It's not nice. That's that's absolutely also, right. Don't forget to check your breasts every month. Yeah. True that. Give yourself a Fill little yourself feel up. up. Let us know the status of yours in the comments. <laughs> the status? <laughs> Yeah, comment with the color. Ew. If it's clear, if it's white, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, tell us uh, nice or not nice in the comments <laughs> below. Okay, oh what we got going on? We know. Tax season is here, guys. You ready for it? Who's paying taxes this year? I am. Let me tell you, taxes are stressful. There's paperwork involved. Especially if you're a business of one, it's sometimes kind of complicated. But you don't have to handle it alone this year. Let Collective take care of all of your tax and accounting needs and see how you could save thousands with an S-Corp. Collective is an all-in-one financial solution for self-employed entrepreneurs that specializes in S-Corp election. Let Collective handle your taxes, your bookkeeping, your payroll, all for a fraction of the cost of a CPA. And if your business of one is making at least 60,000 in profit annually, then you could be missing out on thousands in tax savings every year. 
With Collective, the S-Corp tax election is saving its members an average of $10,000 per year, people. But don't wait to elect because the deadline to backdate your S-Corp to January 1st is coming up on March 31st. You only have a few more weeks to go. So right now, Collective is waiving the onboarding fee when you go to collective.com slash sesh and tell them sesh sent you. That's $199 value waived and a full year of S-Corp savings when you go to collective.com slash sesh and tell them sesh sent you. That's collective.com slash sesh and tell them sesh sent you. Should we actually start out with uh, Love is Blind? Yeah, Lib. I watched it. I was bored as hell. Mm, I was actually quite entertained, surprisingly. I was bored as hell. Why were all these randos there from previous That's seasons? What I do not understand. Yeah. Who cares? And I don't give a damn. You know what's even weirder, and you may not have noticed this, but um, there were, I think, two couples that were there with people that weren't even on the show with them. They weren't, they aren't like, yeah, they're uh, like Mary. Yes. I'm like, why are you here? You literally. What Literally. are you doing? You don't even go here. There was that one guy there, Micah. Yes. I don't remember the girl he was with, but she dumped him because of his credit score. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, she didn't like his financial situation. I am. And also, why are we dressed up like this is the fucking Academy Awards? Literally. This is not... What's that one fashion show that everybody... Met Gala? Met Gala. I'm sorry. Sarah Ann looks so tacky. She looks like she was in prom. Mm-hmm. She is just... All She's the way not around the pick tacky. me. You're the pick me. How weird was it that not even the main characters got screen time? Fucking Sarah Ann, Trevor was like, Can I leave now? That was so <laughs> oh that, my the gosh, whole thing yeah. was so awkward. That was funny as fuck though. Oh yeah, but he literally <laughs> was just like, like, like a speech. He's like, went fuck, I don't know what to say. say. He's an idiot suck. though. Yeah. Oh no, he deserves it 100. percent He was like about to commit sextortion. This yeah. Yeah. Let's not forget that. Nasty. He definitely deserved it, but it was funny. Somebody calls him Wreck It Ralph. And like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's he so looks accurate. Like it. Yeah. Okay. I just watched Wreck It Ralph. Jessica's dress. I'm a little confused. Is it like all like the massive long train of like flowers? Yeah, it kind of looks oh, like that. What? No. They well, were like centerpieces. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can see how you thought that, though. That's hilarious. Oh, see she what else beautiful. happened. Yeah, she, um, I really like her. AD and Clay are not together, but I feel like they will be together. It's I, think, giving... I think they're still fucking around. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Exactly. Really? I got the message she was pretty done with his ass. He was trying so hard. Yeah. He made a huge mistake. Yeah, he said he went to therapy and he's a changed man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they're... I don't know, man, because... I was listening to TMZ this morning (laughs) and they had Chelsea call in because Chelsea was seen this weekend in Miami with Toe. Yeah. And then they made a TikTok cheersing together. Yep. And they were asking her. So Toe has expressed interest in AD. She was like, yeah. Oh, interesting Mm -hmm. turn of events. Imagine that Toe and AD get married. They have the first love is blind baby. And it looks like a Toe. (laughs) (laughs) A Toe with a fat ass. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) I kind of like Kono. Yeah, I kind of do too. He's, like He's kind of getting on hotter me. to me too. Oh. I ag- I was oh, yeah, thinking that I'm like, damn, Toe is kind of yeah. Hot. What happened? He's kind of cleaned it up. Yeah, I don't know. I like He's less toeish yeah. now. He's got a pedicure. I think it's because you know he was <laughs> such a douche probably. out the gate that he just it made his toeness more pronounced. Yeah. But now that he we've, we've fungus, seen new signs fungus. of him, exactly. He's got some fungicide. Yep, he put it on toe but cheese. He put his fungicide on and it's gone now. Yeah, he's even hotter. I think they were using a filter. Because they both looked really, really good in that TikTok. Oh, oh, on the TikTok? Yeah. But the even show. on the reunion, he was kind of like looking yeah. hot. He was a little quiet, though. He didn't really say much. Yeah. Which they didn't ask about anything having to do with those two, which annoyed me. Because I'm like, that was the biggest thing. Stupid. Did you guys see that TikTok I sent you? The <laughs> name is not Leechy. <laughs> it is. Yes. Go ahead, um, did you guys see that TikTok that I sent you? Love is Blind in 90 yes. Seconds? Yes. Yeah. yes. We should play it for those who need to get caught up. No need to watch the reunion. Just watch this TikTok. Yeah, this is all we need to say. Who made this TikTok? Anna Moon. This is exactly how it was. <laughs> <laughs> Season six reunion, but we are gonna make it a season one through five reunion Literally. for absolutely no reason. <laughs> in the old cast that no one cares about, <laughs> I am not the clown, and you're the clown, and the pick Misha. <laughs> Your feelings are valid. No, I'm gentle parenting her right now. Now it's time to bring out Trevor and humiliate. Of millions of people. We are going to read the text messages from Trevor <laughs> Dude, and his girlfriend dirty Pumpkin with before forehead. Trevor entered the show. She wrote, babe, I love you. Good luck. He wrote, thanks, Pumpkin. I'm doing this for us. He wrote, thanks, Pumpkin. I hope I bamboozle abroad and get social media fame. <laughs> Can you explain yourself? Oh, she was toxic. I'm toxic. Can I leave? I had a feeling. Deep down, I had to say no to Trevor. 
<laughs> Wait, I'm going to take a moment to insert myself in other people's business because I don't have a storyline and I need to be relevant. Let's move on to Jimmy. Jimmy, you're very average. How'd you get two beautiful women to fall in love with you? It is a weird thing to have two women say that they love you, and I would I would never want that to happen again unless it was one of my girlfriends. Barbara, maybe Diane, Stephanie. Well, I want to be on the record that I have a ton of dude bro man friends. The feathers are the moment you. you have all been waiting for. We are going to ask if Chelsea and Jimmy are sick. They're telling me... Oh, we ran out of time. Bye. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Oh, you know what was so funny mm. to me? How Nick Leachy <laughs> went on a whole rant about like, because he's pissed at Trevor for everything. Right, and right. He's like, oh. this is an honor to be here, okay? Yes. This is a privilege. <laughs> this he's is a like, once in a lifetime opportunity. He's like, people don't go on here to get fame. This is for love. Yeah, okay, bro. Then you're Come not on, making Leachy. millions of dollars yeah. off of this. Please. All right. Like, you're making a you're doing the Lord's work. Fucking matchmaker. Guys, there's a petition. Josh was telling me to get those two off the show. Please. Let's sign it. I know. We will They're link awful. it below. <laughs> I love how they opened it up with them, like, doing the... They were in the little rooms talking yeah. to each other. I'm like, you guys are trying so hard to make us like them. We don't. Do not accept Leachy and his wife. Yeah. Mr. They Mr. Mrs. Leachy. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Leach. <laughs> I'm not into it. <laughs> they need to get out. They need to give... I never remember their names, but well, the two people, Lauren and Cameron. Cameron, Cameron thank you. Why do I know? I don't names. know. You've never seen it. <laughs> Lauren and Cameron, they need to be the new hosts. I think everyone that watches the show would agree with me. Okay. Johnny and Amy. Amy, thank you. They said they figured out yeah. how to not get pregnant. So that's always a plus. Excellent. Good for them. Okay, glad, for them. I'm glad they're banging. Kenneth and Brittany are talking every day mm -hmm. yeah that was interesting mm -hmm. they seem like they actually really are friends i think they might be besties yeah it looks that way like yeah she put friends. um uh, like phone restrictions on for him so now he <laughs> has to pay attention to her mm. <laughs> yeah. that joke totally fucking tri tripped and fell on his yeah. face yeah <laughs> was that supposed to be a joke i thought you were saying something real did that yeah, not happen too. no i was trying to be funny just keep, let's just keep going now okay um, <laughs> hilarious to know <laughs> har, har, har. um let's see what oh, else happened oh boy everyone's such a fan of ad look at that we got signs she's just she the hottest so hot she cannot be with clay i'm just so glad that Jessica's cool as fuck too she looked great. i like jessica i do lot. too she's cool she's going on perfect match which i started that show god it's really stupid really yeah i started the first season is it this is it the it's same like, producers is yeah i think so have you gotten any further on kate plus eight yeah i have a little bit yeah okay. wait i Good. wanted to ask about that so you restarted it no she's never seen I've it i've never seen it oh i used to be obsessed with that show oh, were you oh my gosh oh. i watched every single episode that's right <laughs> i'm a little disturbed by it though i must say tlc i think things have changed i don't know what the fuck they were doing because they have filmed these kids naked twice no way yeah. what do you mean naked like from the side but you can still see things or like the little boy's butt like straight up his butt shut up one of them was on a changing table standing up and yeah, it was from the side, but you could still see Shut the up. entire yeah naked, and then one of them shit his pants at the, <laughs> <laughs> the mattress store in the episode of watching yesterday, and they're filming the little kid's butt with this giant poop like Shut swinging up. around in his butt. And they're like filming him as he's walking. Oh, that's like really not good. I know yeah. it's it's that's it's disturbing. funny, but it's like what the actual yeah. fuck? And I don't know if I'm gonna even continue watching this show because it's like starting to piss me off. It's so exploitive to these kids. Oh yeah. Uh, yes, it is. I, I didn't really think about it though, like back then. Yeah, it was no. different. I oh, guess I was back like then, ten when I was watching. Oh my god, so obsessed with all those kids. I was just like, did I just really see this child That's naked? Creepy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. think now even the least they could do is go Wear in and it. do a little edit, right? Come on. For nowadays, get with the program. It's real bad. Real, real fucking weird. Jeez. That's gross. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, yeah. Um. So when does the next Love Is Blind come out? Do we know? I don't know. A few months from now? Mm -hmm. They have like one I think a year, it's supposed right? to be in Denver next. They have one or two a year? Yeah, I think so. We're definitely going to tune in. Yeah, I'll be tuning it's in. It's just such a shit show. It's always worth watching, I think. Yeah. It's I think, entertaining. I think yeah. it's going to be uh, September or October oh. of this year. Okay. I think, And it's supposed to be Denver, right? I yes. I think so. I Maybe so. we'll know people. What if it's like people we went to high school with? I'm yeah, curious. I'm on the Bachelorette. I'm curious. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, my, yeah. One of my classmates. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. See, mm -hmm. you never know who could be on there. It could mm -hmm. be your ex-boyfriend. Yeah, that would be nah. weird. <laughs> all mine are married and have kids, pretty much. I actually think they all do. Yeah. Really? Yeah, all of them. Huh. 
That's sweet. Mm -hmm. Super sweet. Anyway, okay, let's start out here with some CSI. Is that everything we need to say on Love is Blind? I have nothing else to say. I was bored. It It was uh, your nanny, actually. I was DMing her. She said it was the worst season. She's like, this season sucked. I said, wow, Kendall said it was the best season. She said, no. I retract that, actually, after watching the entire season. I can't make a decision like that again until I know the entire thing. Because off the bat, though, it was like really juicy and interesting. Because normally the first couple episodes are the most boring part, in my opinion. Um, but it was actually entertaining in the beginning, but then just got progressively dumb. Yeah, she said there's better ones out there. So maybe I'll be tuning in. Yeah, you should. You'd probably like watching the old ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, CSI. So this first story is... Um, this is crazy. Really disturbing. And happening in our own backyard. Yeah, we love this for us. So this happened back in July of 2023. The Fort Collins police began an investigation after they received multiple reports of a person who was um, wanking his willy. That's right. Outside of a business or several businesses. Mm -hmm. Many of the incidents are reported to have happened at coffee shops where employees and customers had a full view of this guy just doing the dirty out in the open. This man being accused is 32-year-old Stephen Malsada. Okay, let's put his picture up on the screen. Let him be loud and proud here. If you see this man, run, run run in the other direction. (laughs) After further investigation into Stephen, police were prompted to search Stephen's house, and they found a video that showed him allegedly... Wanking his willy. Yep, and... And (laughs) spraying something. And finishing. Yeah, on multiple food (laughs) items in the fucking Safeway that he worked at. Oh, my God. You never know what. I mean, it's stories like this that forever change you and your brain chemistry. Correct. Because how are you supposed to ever go to the fucking produce section again? Pick up your onions. Trying to get a banana. Right. (laughs) And he's touching his banana. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's working there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Imagine people that do stuff like this and they don't get caught or they like wipe. They touch their ass and then they orange. So, okay. So I have to share a story. Events like that that alter your entire life. Mm-hmm. My grandma told me the story and I will never forget this. And this is why I wash every fucking vegetable. Anything I anything I buy from the grocery store, I make sure I vegetable wash it. He saw a man mining for fucking gold in his nose, pulled out a fucking wet ass booger and plopped it on the fucking onion. Ew. Ew. Yeah. It's sick. Not the same, not to the same extent as this man walking his willy, but you know. It's pretty nasty. I always bring up the story of my, I don't even like to call him my uncle. He's not my uncle anymore, yeah. but. <laughs> he put scabs on cheeseburgers at yeah. a fast food restaurant and like would tell us like it was some funny thing. Disgusting. People yeah. do all kinds of whack shit. Yeah. And most of the, I feel like most of it you would never know. Mm-mm. Like no. I'm sure we've eaten food that people have spat in and stuff. Oh, for Pissed sure. Both, definitely. I'd say the chances you haven't would be extremely low. Yeah. Ugh. That's why I only eat at home. <laughs> <laughs> I make everything. I churn my own Not butter. It doesn't matter if you eat at home. Because people are wanking their willies on produce that you take home. Wash your produce, friends. I don't do that. Is that? Yeah, you definitely you don't need wash to be your washing produce. your produce. I think you should Not start now. Really. Like See, even like, like grapes. Okay, okay. Fruit I wash. Yeah. There's like wax and shit on on it, like pe- like pesticides and like. You really think that a little water is gonna take off the pesticides no. that are inside the fruit? That's why there's like vegetable wash. Have you ever seen that thing on TikTok? Yeah. It's like a little machine you stick in, and apparently like draws all the crap out. It's yeah. like 20 bucks. I bought one and then I never used it. It's, still, it's been in my cabinet for like a year. Trader Joe's has a great don't vegetable wash. all that much. They do have I a good care. vegetable wash. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I heard that that stuff's really good. Yeah, just like soak your... Just like, Are you supposed to wash onions? I don't because I have like no, a shell. I don't. No, I, I don't wash my onion, but I'm just make sure. But now I don't even want to touch it. You get like yeah. an STD or something. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that's sick. Dude, that's Reeks so sick Are in this world about. that we share. It's disgusting. Ugh. Okay, so investigators say they believe that Stephen was contaminating fruits, vegetables, and items in the bakery. Bro, check your croissants. Donuts. (gasps) Oh, glazed donuts. Oh, my God. (laughs) Do not put that in my head. (laughs) He was glazing the donuts himself. Oh, Oh, my God. That is sick. No, 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 no. Mm, Stephen, you sick motherfucker. These food items were not sealed, by the way, and... (laughs) Yeah, just straight up out in the open. Ugh. If, like, where does... How do you end up here in life, Steven? Yeah. Where this is like a fun game to you. Or how does that even turn you on? Yeah. It's like, so what? gross. It's um, so sick. Yeah. So he worked at Safeway from December of 2023 to February of 2024. Short stunt. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows where he's been, though. 
And Stephen was arrested and booked on 14 counts of indecent exposure on February 20th, 2024. A video was posted on the police department's YouTube channel on March 14th, just last week, where Chief uh, Jeff Swoboda, Swoboda that's one my name, name uh, shared a full update. Let's take a look. Hello, Fort Collins. I am Jeff Swoboda, your police chief. And I want to let you know about a truly disturbing case that we are currently investigating. Many of you will recall because we did a couple social media posts, but starting last summer, we had an individual going around town and <laughs> various <laughs> He's trying to get the attention of people who work there or who were uh, there just to buy coffee. He's wearing a mask. And we ultimately made an arrest on a Stephen Masalta. We made an arrest and we did a search oh. warrant in February of this year. Mr. Masalta has been in custody since that arrest. Talk about toe. After the mm. search <laughs> True. warrant, and we collected multiple pieces of evidence, electronic evidence, we started to analyze that evidence. As we went through that evidence, it was clear that Mr. Masalta had committed many more crimes. Ew, there I'm imagining the one reviewing this. Like, oh, got another one. Got a sticky Masalta situation. We got a croissant incident over here. At 1426 East Harmony Road, the Safeway. Damn. He was For a little, little too, months. so, yeah. During that two months, on the videos, we can see that Mr. Masalta had and a on multiple items of food <laughs> in the store. It was items of food that weren't commercially sealed. He looks so disappointed. Many more to go He's like, He's like this, this is my job. Seen, we have multiple victims and we have multiple felony charges against Mr. This is Assault. disgusting. Oh, this guy's a chronic freak. Mm, disgusting. So he's facing the following charges, indecent exposure, which is a class one misdemeanor, 14 counts of that, uh, attempted indecent exposure, class two misdemeanor, two counts, attempted unlawful sexual conduct, class two misdemeanor, four counts. And then this is uh, where it gets really, really disturbing, you guys. And this uh, becomes, not that it's funny, but even less funny than before. Attempted sexual assault on a child, class five felony, 16 counts. That's disgusting. So that little bit there, I don't think we have a lot of information as to what exactly that means or if it connects into everything else that he's been doing. And maybe it's because there were children present. I'm not sure. Yeah. Still under investigation. Police believe there could be additional victims and charges coming. Sick. This guy needs to be locked up. Locked up. Disgusting. What's the thing in San Francisco where they... Alcatraz? Yeah, Alcatraz. Yeah. He needs to go there. Send yeah, he Far does. away from everyone. Yeah, um... Safeway is not safe. No. Yeah. It's not the safe way. <laughs> it's the scary way. Oh, no. Also, in Colorado, I don't know what's going on Colorado Safeways, but over the weekend, I think, or late last week, there was an IED found in another Safeway uh, in, like, southern Denver. Improvised explosive device, if you don't know what that is. That's right. A handmade bomb, essentially, found in the parking lot. Oh, my God. At a Safeway. Hopefully, he goes to jail for many, many, many years. Um, and he'll probably have to eat in his cell alone. Can't be trusted around other no. foods. Mm -mm. Sick. Ugh. Ew. Sick, sick. Yeah, it is. For a while there, people, I won't lie, I completely stopped going to the doctor. And it's because I did not trust doctors. There was a period of time where I was trying to get diagnosed with my chronic health issues and no one could tell me what was wrong. They just told me I was stressed out and it was driving me insane. So I gave up on doctors altogether. And recently I decided it's time to go back to the good old doc. So I hit up ZocDoc, which I have been using for a long time to find other medical professionals. And I was able to find an amazing general practitioner. And I sent Janelle to her as well. I have sent another friend to her and I wouldn't have found her without the ZocDoc app. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doc you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with the receptionist. And all of these docs have verified reviews from actual real patients. That's the kicker, friends. We look up reviews for everything in life. Why not for our doctors? We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviewed credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and basically treat any condition that you're looking for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is just between 24 and 72 hours. That's it. Sometimes you can even score same day appointments. So go to ZocDoc.com slash sesh and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash sesh. ZocDoc.com slash sesh. 
we have like a theme of bodily functions this week. Yeah, yeah. This next story is very whack. So this girl named Anna Marie, she posted a video on TikTok earlier this month that has gone viral. Okay, this is insane. She shares that when she received her package from Shein, there was a can of Goya beans in there, which to me would be great news. I was going to say, I love beans. you would be thrilled. Give, uh, especially, purchase. oh, pink beans. Is mm-hmm. that just kidney beans? Yeah. Those are my favorite. Really? Yeah, kidney beans, then black beans. Really? Mm-hmm. Really. Love a good kidney. Yeah, beans are great. I love beans. So I'd be pumped for that. But what I wouldn't be excited about is she also got an unlabeled vial of blood that looked like it was from a testing lab. So two of the most random possible items. I would be really confused if that were me. I'm I'm honestly pretty curious about the beans, though. How did the beans get in there? <laughs> and I was like, what do I have to do to get a can of beans? <laughs> Is that yeah. like a free gift with purchase? <laughs> so we just spend $100, get free beans. Yes, yes. <laughs> so she said she's ordered from Shein multiple times before. Never had any issues. No beans, no blood, nothing. No beans, no blood. <laughs> Let's watch her first video on this that she posted. So I just received a package from Shein that contained a vial of human blood from a testing company. It had no name, no doctor's office, no date. The lady from the testing company said they're trying to track it down. She said that it was completely mishandled. They don't even ship to residents. They only ship blood back and forth between doctors. And she said even if it was a blood sample, it would have had to been refrigerated and it wasn't. So just totally odd. That has never happened. Yeah, it's a little odd. CDC, they're aware of it and they're filing a report and they're looking into it because it's a major biohazard. Mm -hmm. We called the local sheriff. Um, The sheriff department came. They took the vial. They're going to be testing it. And they said that they can reach out to the CDC if they find anything concerning. So basically just if you receive a Shein package, especially one that's in a FedEx, like if you've done express shipping, dump it out on a table and look at everything before you touch it and then sanitize your hands. Be extremely careful. Um, I'll post an update when I hear back from the lab and maybe even from the CDC. I have a conspiracy theory. Oh, you think she put it in there? She put it in there. You think oh. so? <laughs> I don't really think so. But what if she did? I mean, I don't want to accuse viral. Anna. I don't want to accuse Anna. Well, Anna doesn't strike me as someone who would do such right. a thing. She doesn't. The CDC got involved in the police department. If you make claims like that and it's not true, they can you can get in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think moral of the story is don't buy from Sheehan. They're sketch as fuck. Mm hmm. Typically, but I think there's a little bit of a twist in the story. Oh, yes. So she, when she gets in contact with uh, FedEx, right? Okay, okay. She reached out to Shein, and they were like, "We have nothing to tell you until it goes viral, of course." And now they're like, "Oh shit, we need mm-hmm. to make a make statement. a statement." Um, yeah. So she reached out to the CDC, um, and FedEx, and the police department. And side note: after Anna posted her first video, she had a friend who said she received a needle in a package from Shein this past Mm. summer. Like a threading needle or like... No, like an injection. Like a needle. needle. No. Like a medical needle. Oh, no. That's very bad. And now that is questionable. Uh, What are the chances of that with your friend getting that and you getting blood? It's Shein. The chances are high. (laughs) (laughs) They are paying their their employees like cents per fucking garment. So Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So then she went ahead and posted another video sharing what the testing lab told her. Let's go ahead and watch that. Hey, everybody. This is an update on the blood vial I found in my Shein package. Um, Initially, I just thought maybe it was a prank. I thought it might be fake. Um, But I did get in touch with the lab and they just called me. So I'm updating you on what they said. Um, It was an advisor for the lab director that called me. Um, This is for exact science. And he said, um, I'm reading my notes from me. He said the tubes are used for cancer screenings. Um, not people that they know have cancer, not people that are sick. It's people that are healthy and are just due for um, screening or like that are concerned that maybe they have something wrong. It's not for any type of infection testing. Um, and it was a sample tube meant for their lab. Um, so it is an official vial. There's proof of that now, not that it was some joke. Um, he said it's usually sent in a special kit and sometimes they use FedEx. Um, and he said in order to ship it back after being tested, it's usually an eight inch box that has a styrofoam container and like cold gel packs in it. So he said they had no idea how it got in there, but someone would have to see that it's an official blood sample and take it out to put it in my package. Um, So if you're seeing this, start tagging FedEx because apparently that's where the issue lies because Uh both the vial and the can of beans are from the United States. So it came from here. Um, It was not. (laughs) Good to know. So that's interesting. Sheen's in the clear. Uh, But yeah, just start tagging FedEx and we're going to try to resolve this. So now we're on to FedEx. Remember when you thought it was Sheen? 
Okay, I still see people say Sheen. Maybe it is Sheen. You were like, LOL, it's Sheen. And then I've said Sheen, and people were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So it's not Sheen's fault. Mm. It's FedEx. Beans. Beans, greens, tomatoes. Maybe it was an April Fool's joke. They thought the package would be delayed and get there at April 1st. <laughs> but it wasn't. A vial of blood? <laughs> How does this happen? How does this happen? What if she's lying? I don't think she's lying. I don't get lying vibes. Yeah, no, I don't think she's lying. But okay. so she had a conversation with FedEx and her most recent video that she posted last Friday explains a combo. Okay. okay. All right. Let's review the tape. Just to update everybody briefly, um, I did talk to FedEx today. They finally reached out. Um, I talked to a couple different people and they were basically like, um, the guy like basically said, oh, yeah, well, this happens sometimes where packages get busted open in transit. And then sometimes the employees just guess and they put the things back in another package. Take a guess. Let's put so, it in the Shein um, one. basically acknowledged that this probably <laughs> is a FedEx slip up. He then says they're going to go to the police office and see if they can get the blood vial to test. The police give them the vial and the police won't even give me the vial. They said it's against like their the, the regulation. But they're giving so FedEx the vial? FedEx showed them a court document or like a court order before they gave it to FedEx. If they wouldn't even it. give it to me. Just kind of strange stuff going on. So I'm hoping to update more later, though. Um, but thank you so much for all the support so far. I really appreciate it. Wow. I don't know what to believe because I agree. Anna Marie, she doesn't seem like a liar, but it is the Internet. Also, your friend found a needle and then FedEx is over here like, yeah, we were just guessing. Blood, vial of blood, can of beans, she and package, throw it all together. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would think if you find a vial of blood you, that you would be like guessing. okay this goes in the we need to like figure this out yes not the just biohazard like, style yeah you know it's kind of interesting my um my sample my ass sample <laughs> what was lost in the mail remember when i was pregnant when you get tested for group b strep you have to swab your ass you go right up your asshole like up just your asshole? up the cheeks yeah you do it yourself oh, like well, you can card, do it yourself like a credit or card someone, swipe yeah most of the time, I think doctors do it for you. My doctor was like, you won't do it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, but they lost mine. Got lost. Oh, my God. It could be in a sheen someone practice for all I know. Right. Someone has my ass sample. <laughs> <laughs> I did do it <gasps> twice. I was pissed. Damn. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know. This does seem a little odd. Maybe it's FedEx. Losing lab things. <laughs> Come on. You'd think there'd be a better process here. Yeah, wait, I was going to say, wait, isn't the blood supposed to be refrigerated anyway? Yeah, like, why yeah, would it take so, the blood out of the package? I don't think blood right. does so blood travels through FedEx? I didn't I thought think like so. LabCorp picks it up. That's what I thought too. That's what I've always thought. Like they just what? <laughs> FedEx with all the other random shit that they... Yeah, what on earth? And then the beans. Also people are like, what? I mean, in the comments I was saying, they're like, maybe they put it in there so the beans would break the glass vial and there'd be <laughs> oh, like blood. Oh my God. <laughs> Why wouldn't they just break the vial themselves? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or they stomp on the package. I don't really want to know how I can get a free beans. I think you can afford yourself an 80 cent can of beans. I want a free one. Okay. Well, Special. I'll buy you a can Special of beans. beans. No, I want a free one shipped in a surprise package. From Shein. I want to know if she's going to eat the beans. Would you eat the beans out of the can? Just like, of course. You don't waste beans. No, I wouldn't. That's scary. You, you never know what could be in those you beans. You wouldn't eat those beans? Steven might have had those beans. I was going to say, what if this is Steven's doings? <laughs> could be. Ew. Oh, my God. Sick, man. Okay, so FedEx came out with a statement saying, we sincerely apologize for this experience. <laughs> like, we're really sorry about that. <laughs> we're committed to treating our customers' shipments with the utmost care. Yeah. Sure you are. And we are taking the appropriate steps to address this matter. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. No. Hold on. I need to Google something. It does... <laughs> FedEx ship blood clearly sample. Janelle's like full on this is a conspiracy and it's all fake I mean FedEx put out a statement what more proof do you need they would say no it was not our doing liquid blood and liquid blood products must always be placed in sturdy outer packaging before being placed in FedEx large clinical or FedEx small clinical this isn't like random FedEx that you see on the street that's carrying your Amazon and shit probably all the same place though the clearly distribution center or whatever mm -hmm. you know it uh, says that's about it on this story no this is that's not it actually stuff oh. for how to <laughs> how to ship liquid clinical samples this is on fedex secure liquid sample in a watertight inner receptacle step two apply absorbent material so like cotton padding something like that 
Step three, secure liquid sample in a secondary inner receptacle. So then you put the container in a container. And step four, pack liquid sample in outer packaging. And step five, throw it in a Shein bag. <laughs> Pairs best with beans. <laughs> Maybe that's why she wanted to, She wanted the vial back because she doesn't want them to test it. Yeah, that's I'm like, you want it back? Why? Yeah. I'm, she's like, I don't know why they wouldn't give it back to me. Because it's hers. It came, came to her blood. house. Oh. It's not her blood. What if it is? Real conspirator over here. I don't know. I don't think FedEx would she make a statement if yeah. this wasn't real. I don't well, think how do FedEx they know would, if it's real or not. How, how, why would FedEx send blood like that? Like, thank you, Carly. I don't they know. Didn't, their statement was not saying, like, we're investigating. They said, we're apo- we apologize for this experience. They took ownership of it. I, th- I think she's telling the truth. I need to see change from FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Well, moving on here. This one is amazing, you guys. This really I love is this so, good. so much. This is one of my favorite things I've ever read in my life. Adin Ross. Adin. Adin. That's Adin. how his name's spelled. True. Adin. 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 Adima. Adin. Adin. <laughs> God, this guy. Aiden Ross. All right. He. <laughs> this is so fucking awesome. It I really is. I love it. It's like you can't make this up. He got Andrew Tater Tot arrested. And they're buddies. Mm -hmm. Big buddies. Let's explain this situation. Let's familiarize ourselves with who's involved here. We haven't talked about these people in a while. So Aiden Ross is a 23-year-old shithead. He's he's a live streamer. This guy, (laughs) he is awful in so many ways. He recently signed a deal with the newest live stream platform, Kick, which is majorly problematic. This this is the fucking wild west of live streaming. Mm -hmm. Uh, People do absolutely whack shit on there and so tons of people who have been like kicked off twitch or um it's it doesn't you know because twitch has kind of cracked down on the gambling so a lot of people who are doing live gambling streams have gone to kick and get yeah, kicked off go to kick that's right it's <laughs> for the kicked off <laughs> but they they give people lots of money they got cash to spend he used to be aiden used to be one of the top streamers on twitch he had more than 7.2 million followers which is insane a lot of them are young boys which is a whole different conversation to be had because this guy is extremely questionable the things that he says but a few weeks ago at the end of february after the eighth time aiden was permanently banned from twitch bummer let's see the clip here of him talking about it guys they banned the biggest jewish streamer on twitch on national hate jewish people day out of all 375 days out of the year. <laughs> oh my God. 75 the days? Twitch, sorry, Jewish Twitch streamer on Hate Jewish. He's so serious. How does that How, how does that even make sense? <laughs> you could have picked yesterday or tomorrow. Yesterday or tomorrow? <laughs> Eddie would never. Eddie would never ban me on National Jew Day. On Hate Jew Day. Never. On Hate Jew Day. <laughs> That's crazy dude. shut the fuck up bro 375 days baby <laughs> i watched way too much aiden ross last night guys i i've got brain rot eighth degree brain rot okay <laughs> <laughs> it's chronic it's chronic i'm not okay <laughs> you need your you may be entitled to financial compensation yeah <laughs> this man has said some of the dumbest things i've ever heard anyone say in the history of life <laughs> he is wild he did say there was a reason for this ban but his lawyer told him not to disclose it with the public. I'm guessing it was probably the gambling, but... But anyway, he signed a deal with Kick, and this is what he said on his BS podcast with Jake Paul. Jacques Poul is... Oh, Jacques. He's here again. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Kick pays for me? all of your stuff. like, And there was a rumor of your new deal being like 100 mil or something. Yeah. Is that <laughs> what it is? No. What is it? It's exaggerated. Um, I mean, okay, so how it works is my deal with Kick you know, it's it's more on my type of timing, right? So I get paid by the hour. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he has he, there's like like that's that's probably so as much as you work, you're pretty getting much. paid. And 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 is there like is that like a? I get paid pretty well. Five figure number or six figure number? I'm sorry, I'm stupid. What's five figures? Like like ten thousand oh. to ninety nine. <laughs> my God, yeah, I know. Or a hundred thousand or more an hour, like is six figures. Um. <laughs> The first option. It's in the five figure range. Yes. That's wild, though. That's crazy. Yeah, That's great. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, so at least probably 10, the highest hourly wage. Highest paying, it is. So paying you're, you're $8 you're, an hour. You're paid. making maximum wage. Beautiful, boys. Yeah. The dude makes a lot of money. He's a millionaire. Um, he also gets 20% of the income made by the streamers that he brings to kick. That's the real kicker. Yeah. That's the kicker. 
on a stream, he said, I have legally 20% of every single streamer on this platform. Well, not every single streamer, but all my boys, 20%. So, <laughs> I mean, this guy has, he's making so much money, which is really what's wrong with the world. So what is Kick? Like we've kind of explained, it's a newer streaming platform. It's known for its messaging features, which allows viewers to easily stay connected with the streamer and has a broader, you know, more flexible content guidelines. Basically, whatever the fuck you want yeah. can happen here. Um, gambling's huge on there. Other topics that are banned from Twitch are welcomed on Kick. Terms of do service are very loose. Yeah, do whatever you want. And Steven, Krispy Kreme glazed donut boy is gonna <laughs> oh, get yeah. on there soon. this is the perfect place for him mm -hmm. for example a streamer named heel mike was getting a blowjob in front of or like i like to say a blowy in front of twenty seven thousand live viewers Bro, and for this this guy only got banned for one day from kick like, that is slappy. insane yeah mm -hmm. he was literally he was literally just banned for 24 hours and then he was right back at it i'm not sure if he's getting any more bjs but ew that's crazy though they have a generous, super generous revenue split for creators. It's 95.5. That's like unheard of. It's the Unreal. highest one. Unreal. Yeah, that's that's Twitch is 70 30. YouTube is 55 45. Insane. So since he made the switch to kick, he has streamed porn to his largely young audience. Like we said, many young boys mm -hmm. are be watching Adeen. Um, and streamed the Super Bowl to over 100,000 viewers. That's nice, since the NFL owns the right to the Super Bowl and potentially faces a lawsuit for streaming the game. He's got money he to spend. He doesn't give a fuck. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then, yeah, this, is the, this was so funny. Last month, he paid Playboy Cardi. I had never heard of this person. I think he's a rapper. He's a rapper. Um, he paid him a ton of money to appear on stream. Do we have an exact number? I want to say it was like $2 million. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have the screenshot from him. But... Yep. We... And he gives it to him on... It, dude, it was so weird. This we have the clip, right? Let's just watch it. I genuinely cannot imagine just paying someone two million dollars out of my pocket. He comes on for like two seconds and he makes him have all the lights off and he's just like standing he's in the also, dark like the Grim Reaper. He's also wearing a mask. So yeah. like <laughs> Okay. All right, bro. We got the official Cardi in your chat. I want to see a W chat. Cardi is here. Chat. Here he comes. How you doing, bro? You alright? Nice to officially meet you. Um, chat. Sees this chrome face, yeah. He's right. like, I don't want anyone to see that I'm here. Thousand people watching. They're waiting here for two hours. This is the camera right here, right here. Mm. They're waiting for you for two hours, bro. They just, they love you so much, bro. And they're, you know, they feel amazing you're here now. I love you. I love you. Amazing that he's here. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> chat, you guys gotta understand, bro. The stream. It's your first time doing the stream, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got you, bro. I got you. Um, oh, you do hugs? That's it. This is so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> that's cute. Um, hey, did you see the Puma bag? That's, that's the money bag. You want to take a seat? He's like, hand me the money before I take a fucking seat. Stand up. Okay. He tells him to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> On his stream. Nine. He's like, okay. Five nine. Mm. How tall are you? Six two. Really? I might be taller than five nine. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, can Pepsi put the camera up? He's short. Is he a short king? Let me see real quick. I like the mask, bro. Which would you like? What kind of mask is that? <laughs> oh, the shoes too. This is insane. <laughs> this is the Two content. Two million dollars for this. <laughs> this is, this makes me mad. I know. I am. This is my outfit. Black Nike Air Forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day you gotta see that. <laughs> He's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost so, like he isn't even there. It's it's Love stupid. You. you guys get the idea. Thank you. Babe, paid him two million dollars. Yep. Well And he like gives him the cat on on the stream. And it's literally like two minutes long, three minutes long. He was literally on there for literally it, the the whole clip is six minutes long, but oh. two or three of those minutes we're waiting. We're still waiting <laughs> yeah. for him. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm And mm -hmm. a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, you promised him a Ferrari too, right? So that's cool. Yep. And then he had someone else. I can't remember who it 21 was. Savage. Yeah, 21 Savage <laughs> called him up after and was like all pissed. He was like, I just came on your show for free. <laughs> what the fuck? How is he getting these randos on there? I don't, he has a huge viewership. It's insane. People like him. Uh, yeah. So, okay. So while I was doing the research for the, for the Playboy Cardi thing, um, I guess 21 Savage called him up later, called Aiden Ross up later. 
and 21 and uh, Cardi are, I guess they're like buddy buddy. He told Aiden that the t- whatever the two mil, it wasn't two million at all. It wasn't oh. even close. It, like he didn't pay him two million dollars. He just gave him a bag full of money essentially. Okay. But I don't know if it was, I don't think he paid him the full amount. Um, mm. like, Suing him. Yeah. yeah. We need to sue his ass. And also, a, he literally made a fucking tweet about it. So it's like, you you committed to this bit, bro. Well, God, yeah. dude. He's such an idiot. It's it's truly amazing. But the reason that we're talking about Adam Ross today is because most recently, Adam made comments about Andrew Tate. That led to his arrest. This is honestly one of the my favorite things that has happened this year. On Monday, March 11th, Andrew Tate and his brother, Tristan, were detained in Romania and handed an arrest warrant issued by British authorities concerning rape and sexual assault allegations. Now, we have talked about those two uh, a few oh, times here on the show. Two boys. It's been a moment since we've talked about them. Um, we don't need to go into all of it, but you no. can go back and watch our old episodes or, you know, just look it up. Uh, they are truly vile people. Bring on the free Top G comments. I love it. Yes. I love it. I've been missing you guys. Come back. Come back. Tater Free tots. top G. Come on, tater top. Free top G. This is a tater top friendly zone. Please. Especially people at really those folks on TikTok. Him. Yes. It, people think he's innocent. Mm-hmm. And then it's all a big scam. Free top. It's the Matrix. It's G. the Matrix. It's the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Well, since they were served with the warrant, the brothers will be extradited to the UK as more victims have come forward and alleged uh, sexual assault and abuse charges have been made. They will have to face trial in the UK in the future. So Andrew Tate is the king of mascul- toxic masculinity. He's Ugh. responsible for brainwashing young, young boys and turning them into little homophobic sexist pigs, 100%. Um, and he sells this program called Hustlers University 4.0. <laughs> they promise to teach you about e-commerce, <laughs> entrepreneurship, crypto, AI, content creation, and fitness. <laughs> <laughs> the red pill favorites. That's just the the top god Mm -hmm. it really Mm -hmm. is actually kind of (laughs) concerning yeah how many young people are idolizing these dudes Uh Mm -hmm. i mean you hear teachers saying like oh there's like eighth grade boys in my class who are literally idolizing him referencing him acting horribly in school because that's Mm -hmm. what andrew tate would want yep Yep. Remember that clip where he's talking about how you got to get your top bitch yeah. and bring her and to help you recruit basically like a Ghislaine Max, what, Maxwell situation. Mm-hmm. Um, he's talked about openly how you can trick women into not paying them as much by telling them that you're paying taxes and they're never going to know. And it's just he's openly admitted to so many things. He's he's horrible. Uh, the Tate brothers both of them, Tristan's awful too, are accused yeah. of horrendous wrongdoings, including sex trafficking, rape, and money laundering beginning in 2012. They were originally detained in December of 2022 and spent three months in jail after being released on bail. Both brothers uh, unequivocally deny they say, no, 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 no. all charges against them, but come on. There's, I mean, there's fucking proof. Remember that whole Vice thing? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was crazy too. Yes. It was yeah, like a whole dark. Vice documentary that came out um, mm-hmm. on them. Well, I think it's a load of bullshit. Right. So anyway, Aiden and Andrew are pretty close friends. Shocker. And <laughs> I mean, he's like perfect. Aiden always has sucked up to Andrew. He and he clearly looks up to him. He shaved his head for Andrew Tate. Very cute. Anyway. He shaved his head for <laughs> Andrew Tate. <laughs> he's committed. Anyway, last week, this was awesome. This is so good. He went live and he made some comments about Aiden Andrew. went live. Yes, he implied that Tate may be fleeing Romania before his trial, which I don't he did not realize he was implying this, by the way, his date for his trial has not been set yet in Romania. But he let's just watch the clip. okay? yeah, he he fucked up big time, big time. He exposed his friend. (laughs) Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey. I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. So <laughs> like in the corner. And do a week of long streams corner. of content before I leave. I think it'll be big. And it's never. It's. I'm sorry. He said it's not. It's basically not. <sighs> um, so. <laughs> you stupid. You know. Uh, you know. And, and this is just. I told you guys this year. You know. It's a week of content. Right. So yeah. He outed his friend. Dude. That's so Just funny. straight up read the text online. If you didn't hear it. He said, hey, I'm going to be leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. (laughs) You want to come over and do a week of live streams 
and content before I leave. I think it'll be big. That's so <laughs> funny. So people started talking about this when it first happened. Like, d- did he just fucking out him? Is he planning to leave the country before trial? The answer is yes, yes. because these comments tipped off the authorities and they promptly arrested the Tate brothers. And there's footage of the arrest. <sighs> this is so Let's good. take a look. No, it's not. <laughs> he says, free the top G's. Free the top G's. Free the top G's. <laughs> Free the top G's. Oh no, boys. Back to the slammer. Where you two nasty fucks belong. I love it. So, um, so great. That is just the best thing that's ever happened. Aiden is truly one of the stupidest people. That is like that I've ever unreal. seen. <laughs> <I know. laughs> that, oh my God. Talk about God. brain rot. He's your friend. You are very familiar with the situation. He talks about it constantly. And he tells you, I'm leaving the country and probably never coming back. And you read it out loud on your stream to millions. Unbelievable. Snaps to Aiden Ross. Like, I am truly impressed. I was going to say, I kind of, I love, I kind of love him for that. Yeah, me too. It's I crazy. really do. You really tipped off. Yeah, your besties there. Yep. Yep. God, stupid. Brain rot. Mm-hmm. You just want to see his, um, his apology. Yes. Beta. Yeah. Let's see it. Beta. Beta. He forgot oh. to take his alpha brain that day. So give him some slack. <laughs> Well, the whole red b- b- pill community is pissed. The red pill. They're pissed. Discharge. 24-7, bro. Up a lot. Okay? I really up okay. a lot. I'm a really dumb individual. I'm yeah. very stupid. I told you guys that I think I'm, I'm autistic in some ways. Mm. I'm oh. sure you guys have noticed. And I would never do this purposely with intent, right? I speak to Andrew. We're cool. And I told you, he's part of the reason why I lost 25 pounds, right? And I'm actually in shape. So I'm up. I apologize to Andrew, and I'm really sorry to everyone else, um, his team and everything. But Andrew said it's okay. Come down to Romania, okay. and let's do some streams. So if you guys would like that, put a W in the chat if you would like w. me to go to uh, Romania and do some streams with Andrew w. and Tristan. And, and, you know, it'd be great. I think it'd be Big great. Win here. Um, I'll go down there. It'll be really, really cool. More interesting now, right? <laughs> um, and I'm sorry, and I and and, and publicly, I'm apologizing. I already public, I already privately apologized to Andrew and his team, right? And uh, I feel really bad about the situation. I'm and, sure uh, he was super forgiving. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'll take people with me. I'm gonna ask Jake if he wants to come. I, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some people with me to Romania, and we're gonna go down there, okay? Me and, and again, guys, down. I don't know why I worded like this. It came out bad, and I'm sorry. And I, I don't know didn't why I worded to, it. You read the text, and I, and I feel really, really bad. I, you know, I, I really do apologize. I'm up and i and i'm i'm gonna continue to up and continue to learn from it and dude I'm sorry the fact that he's only right? 23 mm-hmm. and, and has so much money and influence mm-hmm. scary it is scary how old is tater tot a 37 mm-hmm. so what the hell are you doing <laughs> hanging out so with creepy Ross? why that's what i'm so confused about you're dumb enough to be associated with yeah. this guy you deserve to be dude if i were aiden ross i'd be shitting bricks seriously like i'd be scared oh, that yeah. i'm mm-hmm. gonna get my ass beat oh yeah i'm sure andrew wasn't like oh yeah it's okay yeah man. i'm sure he wasn't like no what's all right little buddy <laughs> we'll hang out as soon as i'm free Ugh, we'll have our play date soon <laughs> stupid god. god i love it it's truly unreal <sighs> this type of stuff gives me light so the brothers were only detained for about 24 hours and andrew made a statement as he left the police station let's watch that i want to yes. give i want to give absolute credit to romanian justice for making the correct decision today Unfortunately, I, I don't think many so people much. in Romania looks, understand that in Ill. the West, the countries are owned by the Satanists. If you get to a certain level of fame, you need to put on a dress or you can go to jail. And I'm happy to make my choice, which is jail every single time. My the soul fuck is are you illegal. talking about? We are oh, innocent agree. men. No, we're very innocent men. And in time, everybody's going to see that. Very innocent. Very innocent. Very innocent. Very innocent. I'm ready for it now, but uh, still, the Romanian court approved in extradition to the UK <laughs> after the trial is over okay. here. So. Uh, it's very funny because I've been asking the Romanian courts to go to the UK myself. I've asked five times and didn't decline. So... Oh. Now I get to go home. I, you will be in the, in the jail at the end of the final of the process. What do you think about Is that his brother on the left? Yeah. Oh, what measures are the brother? Hi, Tater Tots. <laughs> It'd be funny if their license plate said Tater Tot. It'd be really cute. These fools. Tater Tots. <laughs> the Tater Tots. Now, while they were detained, the brothers would learn if they would regain access to their $4 million worth of assets, but that decision was postponed until March 22nd, which hasn't hit yet. So we'll see where their money goes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Next couple of days. Ada says he's still in contact with Tate and he's been forgiven. Thank God. Literally got his friend arrested. 
That is just too good to make up. You really can't make it up. No, you really can't. Tape. Tape boys. Should we buy some merch? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they have merch. It's resounding. A resounding. That's a, a sounding. Resounding. 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 No. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Say no on that. I've had enough of this uh, clown I just show. I believe it. That's just so funny to me. I know. God kick though. Yeah, it's a crazy. Kind of kicking myself for not streaming on there. Yeah, you should be kicking yourself. They make so much money. Ninety five percent. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy, dude. Yeah. How do they profit? Uh, I don't know. Oh my god, look at his merch. Yep, check it out. Cash, cash, KFC. cash. <laughs> KFC merch. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Top G. Top G. Can what color is your Bugatti? That are buying this. What yeah, color is your Bugatti? Can you Bugatti? Resist the, the slave mind or something like that. The slave mind? The matrix mind. Oh, the slave mind. Oh, wow. Ballsy. Interesting. All right. You guys know me. I love comfortable clothing over anything in life. I will take comfort over style every single day of the week. And one of the most important things to have for me personally, especially in the summertime as the weather warms up, is a nice t shirt. Just a good quality, soft, comfortable, but still cute. You can dress it up, you can dress it down t-shirt. And that is why I'm so obsessed with Skims because I have found my favorite t-shirt. The Skim Soft Smoothing t-shirt is the most flattering t-shirt I've ever worn. I feel like a lot of t-shirts just lay on you. But the Soft Smoothing t-shirt makes you look cute and keeps you comfortable. I also am obsessed with the cotton jersey long sleeve tee. I just got that in the mail about a week ago and I've already worn it a few times. It fits really well and it washes well. That's one of the things that is so consistent with Skims. Every single thing that I've ever gotten from them washes so well. I cannot stand when you wash a piece of clothing after a few times it starts to feel just kind of crappy to be honest and this doesn't happen with the skims they come out of the wash feeling brand new every single time i love everything from skims from their bralettes which is what i'm wearing right now so comfortable their undies are cute and comfortable and their pajamas their loungewear oh my gosh the softest loungewear i have ever worn so shop the skims t-shirt shop at skims.com now available in sizes extra extra small to 4x plus get free shipping on orders over 75 dollars if you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that we sent you. After you place your order, select podcasts in the survey and select our show in the drop down menu that follows. Okay, we have just enough time to play a little bit. I keep saying play as if it's a game. It's not a game. This is some serious business, actually. Mm -hmm. We are going to be determining whether our viewers are getting played or if they are players. That's right. Okay, so obviously we need the gavel for this. Let me get her. Okay, I'm ready to judge. And these are kind of long, so bear with us. I was with my boyfriend for five years. He was perfect for the most part, charming, extremely attractive, super loving and caring. My whole family adored him. Four years in, he asked my parents if he could propose to me on our Hawaii trip that we were going on the following summer. I was catching on since he was acting, you know, extra excited about the trip and he measured my ring finger. I could not wait to spend the rest of my life with him. It's like we were the perfect match. We never fought and always were on the same page about everything. Like, what more could you ask for? His mom lived with him for three years of our relationship since she couldn't live on her own. She eventually got too sick for him to take care of. Um, and so she went to live with his sisters. He was devastated since his dad had already passed and now his mom was declining as well. He made it his mission to visit her as much as possible because he said he didn't know how much time he had with her, which I totally understand. Fast forward almost a year later and a month before her Hawaii trip. His sister and her husband came to visit for a weekend and I stayed at my place since I was sick. I went over to my boyfriend's house a day after they left. I thought something was off because his place looked untouched since I was there. It, done, it didn't look like anyone had even visited. The next morning, he went to work, and I couldn't shake the feeling I had. I decided to snoop and looked in the trash. I found a receipt for Kroger, one of the grocery stores, uh, and there are no Krogers in our area at all. I looked up the address on the receipt, and it's four hours away. I was shocked because he said that um, he had just stayed home that whole weekend i felt so sick i waited until he got home to confront him he said he lied and went on a bar hopping trip with his guy co-workers i called bullshit because he's not close with them like that and he hates going to bars at this point i already told my mom about the receipt she was blowing on my phone and i was talking to him and i ignored it finally she called again and he told me it might be an emergency so i should get the phone i answered my mom immediately told me to get out of the house now and she and my dad are coming to get me i was so confused my mom told me to look at what she sent me. It was a screenshot of a girl's Facebook uh, relationship status saying she's in a relationship with my boyfriend. 
Oh Facebook was the one social media I didn't have. So thank God for my mom. It was ironic because right before that, he told me he would never cheat on me. He com- and he completely shut down. That extremely kind, sweet man I knew for five years disappeared. He turned cold and emotionless. I cried and held the cat we had together since I knew he wouldn't let me keep him and laughed at me for that. That's heartbreaking. The next day I got in touch with his mistress that he said he only saw twice. Turns out he was having an affair with her for almost a year. It started right when when he asked my parents if he could marry me. It gets even more disturbing. This whole time, I thought he was visiting his sick mom when he was seeing her. And the one day of the week I didn't see him, he would go see her. They were also trying to have a baby together. She acted like she had no idea about me. I later found out that she knew all about me and didn't even care. And when she came to him a few times, he would hide all my things and take pictures off the walls. And she would also bring her kids to visit him. I put two and two together with a lot of things and realized this amazing man was actually a monster. For example, he made me eat his mat. Oh, his mistress's leftover food, purposely not washing his sheets after she slept with him. And I would sleep in the bed that night after regifting and having me use stuff she bought him he would go into deep detail about his visits with his mom and how hard it is to see her in that condition turns out he never visited her i did some more investigating and it turned out he was cheating on me our whole relationship his ex that he made out to be a monster she cheated on me cheated on me with her uh was on dating apps and uh, met his mistress on Facebook dating. He also lied about so much more things that don't even that don't even matter. This all happened about four months ago, and I've done a lot of therapy and research. I've come to the realization I was dating a, a covert narcissist slash sociopath. I still have a lot of recovering to do and have nightmares about this. It doesn't help that this was my first relationship, which is probably why I didn't notice some of the red flags and that he was a lot older than me. My therapist told me men living double lives isn't uncommon, but my case is pretty rare since there were hardly any red flags. I guess this is a red flag itself. A guy not having any red flags. Maybe Mm. that's true. He would also talk so much shit about cheaters and tell me cheating stories of people he knew. It turned out he was talking about himself and wanted to see me and wanted to see my disgusted reaction. He got off on that. The fact I had no idea he was talking about himself. It's safe to say I never want to date again. Holy shit. Wow. I'm so sorry to whoever that was from. Uh, Clearly, we don't need to make a judgment on this. You got played. That's just an insane story. Yeah, that is. Holy shit. That's kind of really scary sad. because I feel like that's the most dangerous type when you think like, oh, everything's perfect. There's no yeah. red flags. Oh, Oof. my heart would be broken if I were you. I am so sorry you're dealing with that. The most upsetting part to me is the cat. Seriously. That's so sad. You should oh, keep the God. cat. Yeah. Take him to court over the cat. Oh, wow. That's Ooh. so insane. God. It's kind of reminding me of what's the guy's name? No, no, that situation. Yeah. yeah, no, this gave me like a pit in my stomach. I'm so Ugh. sorry, girl. That's Ugh. that's a long time, too. Terrifying. It's so, yeah, so five years, and he was gonna propose. Oh. What the fuck? Hey, you dodged a bullet, though. Yeah, thank god seriously. you didn't marry this guy. People are, oh my god, I don't understand how people can like do this, mm-hmm. like how they how, how they just sociopath. No, yeah, it's no regard for anyone's feelings. That's crazy. Gonna have a baby with this other woman. And the fact that she knew about it the whole time, what the fuck? Yeah. She's just like, ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Let me sleep in the bed and then she'll sleep there next. Ew. Oh. She'll, let's make her eat her leftovers. Leftovers? Dude, that is so That's, that's like crazy. demented. That is so demented. Honestly, the fact that he kept it up for that long is scarier. <sighs> yeah. Wow. That is. Uh, no discussion on that, though. Yeah. No. Yeah. You got played. You got played. So sorry girl. about it. Mm. Wow. Hope you can heal and. You know, it'll take time, but you yeah, know, you know, you'll, it's better for you that it is. You know that you're not in this situation anymore. Yep. That's not you don't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. What sucks though, and this is the case with you, Corelli, too, is you know now you're going through this thing where you feel like you can't trust anyone going forward. Yeah. And how do you ever like really repair that? Yeah, mm-hmm. can't even imagine imagine it being like this person's situation for so long. Yeah. How do you trust again? I think you're gonna marry them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't compare my situation because it's not to this degree but like i can kind of relate to some of the feelings that you you probably had it makes it especially hard when someone has no red flags too because then it's like you're really gonna have trust Mm -hmm. issues and this is our first serious relationship Mm -hmm. our first relationship i think yeah Yeah, that's horrible well i'm glad you're getting therapy it's gonna take a lot of healing but again you're gonna come out a stronger person for it and it's also like um who the fuck did i marry yeah yep 
it's right, update thank God on you that. didn't marry him though it's crazy how many people have like double lives like this like it's, yeah yeah it is much more common than yep than i think any of us really realize mm. and it's like seems like most of the time men it is most of the time men mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. why do men yeah why do men why That's do a men? question the forever. audacity okay this next one is an am i playing someone else kind of situation I, 30-year-old female, have been with my husband, 28-year-old male, since uh, 2019. We bought a house together and moved in in 2020. And in 2021, I met a friend, let's just call her Ashley, and I had a crush on her immediately. This was super confusing to me since I have never been attracted to another woman before. It's important to note that she is bisexual and has recently only been dating women. I figured it was just a phase and that it would pass, but it didn't. After meeting her and having these feelings, I got pregnant and my husband and I got married. I had our daughter last year and we were married for about a month before she was born. Over the past couple of years, Ashley and I have become better friends and I see her maybe once a month. I feel like I've been pretty good at compartmentalizing my feelings for her. I haven't told anyone about how I feel. I don't try flirting or crossing any boundaries, but the fact that I have these feelings at all makes me feel really guilty. Even though she really is only a friend, am I playing my husband by spending time with her because of how I feel? Ooh, Ooh. that's a little tough. I don't know what to think on that. Is she really only a friend? That's what she's saying. I mean, all we can do is go off of what she's saying here. But she literally admitted that she has feelings for this person. I think that if you acknowledge the fact that you have feelings, then maybe that's a conversation you should have with your partner and, you know, just kind of be open and honest and just, you know, yeah, maybe it's something that you need to ex- experiment with, and hopefully your partner's understanding in that, and it doesn't, you know, draw a wedge. But I mean, that's also, hard though. But also, she's like, married and pregnant, and well, has a baby now. Well, yeah, but like, if my partner came up to me and was like, "I have feelings for someone else," I wouldn't be like, "Oh, well, you should explore." I'd be like, yeah. "Okay, well, then we need to get divorced." Yeah, it's like such You're a massive cheating decision. On me. Yeah, I don't know if I can make a judgment call here because I don't think. There's enough that is, I don't think you have played your husband necessarily by having yeah. feelings, especially if you've never acted on those feelings or even made them or voiced them. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, yeah. However, I do think maybe it's unfair to yourself. I don't, I guess we don't have enough information here. I don't know if you're, you're happy in your marriage or you like regret being married. Maybe you want to be with a woman or you want to be with Ashley so it's like one of those situations where I think that's just a personal judgment call. Is this something that you can just live with feeling and never acting upon? Or are you actually concerned that you will do something or that you will be unhappy in your life? Yeah. Uh, yeah, There's. I don't think there's enough information here to say. I will comfortably say you are not playing them. In my opinion, I know some people will disagree with that and feel like if you have feelings for someone else and you're not telling your partner, then it's playing. I guess I've been out of dating for long enough that i don't really i what do you guys think do you think that's playing someone to have feelings it i guess it depends on how serious the feelings are too right i think it's more of just like being dishonest with yourself i don't know if yeah. i think you're playing yourself more than you're paying like, more than you're playing your partner yeah. or the girl you're I agree with like you, girl, yeah i think that again if it's if it's something that is on your mind you need to talk to somebody about you know what i mean like yeah. like how would you feel like for example right. if you had a friend right and like you started have feelings for her wouldn't you like do you think josh would see that as he is being played you know probably yeah you know when you say it like that sydney maybe you are playing with some i guess in a way you're playing with his emotions in a way i don't know it's really complicated because you do have a child you are married trying to protect them but is it protecting him by not being honest i would be very upset and possibly, you know, if Josh were to have feelings for someone else and tell me, I mean, that would be like beyond devastating. I don't know if we would recover from that. Well, there's also the discussion of like, is emotional cheating a thing? Yeah. Right. And oh. I think oh. it is. Okay. I thought you were I think this. so. I think she, it seems like she's in like in the first stages right now. Yeah. And it's almost like she's not sure if she should continue or not. So I almost am like, I think before you let it get to the point of where there are boundaries that are crossed, like, I think to address it because i feel like once you cross a boundary it's hard to get back behind that line Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like once Mm -hmm. you cross that boundary it's easier to cross it again and again and get worse and get progressively worse yeah and see what you mean if i mean if i mean if these feelings are growing 
they're only going to keep on growing and, until you address it. Yeah. You know I mean? wonder how Ashley feels. Because is it possible you are engaging in an emotional relationship with her and she feels the same way and that you may not see it that way because you're just friends? Because we all kind of have emotional relationships with our friends in a way, right? Of course. You know? mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It's, if there's other feelings behind that, is it then emotionally cheating? Like if it's romantic? Yeah. If you feel a type of way about them and you're engaging in a relationship that's deep, you know, like if I had a friend that like, say I had a crush on you. Okay. You know, and you and I are like so close. We talk about everything. We cry. We, yeah. you know, is that emotionally cheating? No. Well, I well, think it's not for us because we don't actually have crushes on each other. That'd be <laughs> incest. And that's a problem. That but would be a problem. I'm just saying like, but I think it would be if you take away the fact that we're related. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I think it would be because you have romance. If you have a crush, a crush means you have like romantic or yeah. sexual attraction to someone. Ah, uh, and so yeah. it's more than just like, oh, we're besties and we talk about everything and we have an intimate connection in the sense of like we're emotionally tied to each other. But right. there's like it's 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 a step further than that. Do you think it counts if the other person doesn't have those feelings? Oh, what if Ashley doesn't? Th- she just thinks we're friends. So they haven't been engaging actually in an emotional relationship in her eyes. This is complicated, man. I don't know. I, don't I think know. back to what Carly said. I think it's almost like you're playing yourself in a way. Yeah. Um. So maybe you are. Maybe you are playing someone here. I, actually, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. She said she immediately had a crush on her. Mm-hmm. And it was super confusing. It's important to know that Ashley is bisexual, but has recently been dating women. This is she really. Said she tough. thought it was a phase, but it and it would pass, but it didn't. I think right there, I figured it was just a phase, and that it would pass, but it didn't. So I think that you should. You're ultimately moving forward with something that is, I not necessarily bad yet, but could form into something if you don't nip it in the bud now. Yeah, I don't think you've necessarily done anything wrong or intentionally tried to play no. someone, but I think no, 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 you I don't might think be playing. At all your husband a little bit but i get it's really complicated yeah when you have a child and you're in a marriage and you don't even know if these feelings would actually play out right you know this is something that i think you're gonna have to decide on but honesty is the best policy not only to yourself but to your partner and to your child really yeah so you gotta like really think it through yeah but but i get that that's gotta be hard yeah because you're like okay what if i act on those feelings yeah i go through divorce whatever it is and then it's like it turns away nothing you totally regret it yeah or maybe she could like bring up bring it up to her husband that you know i mean i feel like some people when they've been married for a long time like this can happen and then like before she actually you know acts on this crush her feelings you know, maybe they need to go get therapy or something like that. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think I think first you should talk to the husband, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, get those just get that out there. Because, I mean, you do have a you have a you know, you have a responsibility first and foremost for your partner, for your husband. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And depending on how that goes with him or with them. Yeah. then I mean, maybe maybe then talk to the friend and be like, hey, like these feelings have been developing. Like, I don't really know what to do here. Like, I'm not sure if you're feeling the same way. Um. But I think it's something that you need to have like a very open and honest conversation with. I mean, with both of them, I think, again, mm-hmm. I think that you need to talk to your husband first mm-hmm. and, you know, get that situation sorted out. Because what if, you know, what if he's, what if, I don't want to say like, what if he's okay with it, but like, what if hey, he's understanding, he's understanding or like, and, mm-hmm. and, yeah, and wants like, to work through and like, and it's yeah, like you can't see. help who you're attracted to either. You right. know what I mean? Right. So it's like, maybe, maybe this is something that she needs to explore. Maybe he will be more open and understanding because she hasn't acted on it nothing has happened it's Mm. just feelings and she's Mm -hmm. trying to be honest i think that's probably the best way to approach it but what do i know i don't know this is a complicated situation that is i feel for you it's tough i'm gonna say with peace and love you are playing your husband a little bit tiny and yourself yeah and yourself yeah wish you the best of luck Okay, this next one says, I've been in a relationship for almost seven years now, and I've been feeling like ending it because I have very strong feelings for someone I've never even met. It's been eating at me. Not that I don't love my partner. I absolutely do. I just feel like maybe I'm having these feelings about someone, even though I don't actually know, then maybe I'm not as committed as I think I am. I've never cheated on my partner. They have cheated on me in an unaccountable amount of times, but they haven't in about a year. 
do I throw away a seven year relationship because I have limerence? Ooh, that's a fun word. I've never heard of that. Limerence. Limerence for someone. Or do I push it away because people have told me it's normal to have a crush on relationships just as long as you don't act on them? See, that's a tough, I can kind of see the argument for that because I think it's normal as a human being to like kind of crush on people. It's just like, how serious is it like so much so that you're like desiring them and wanting it to turn into something else? Or is it just like, I think they're cool and I have a crush on them? Yeah. I feel like the first six years we were together, I was fighting to be with him and have him be loyal to me. And now that he is, I'm wanting someone else. I don't know what to do or if I'm in the wrong or what. Um, I wish there was a little more information here because I'm confused. It's someone that you've never met. Is it like you're like an online yeah. thing possibly? Probably. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know the the degree of like, is it an emotional thing? Are you divulging to this person that you like them? Are you flirting with them? Do you think that's what it is or is it all just friendly? The fact that you've been cheated on but except for in the past year makes me wonder like i know you say that you love your partner and stuff but do you have those feelings of like resentment that they did that to you Mm -hmm. and i'm wondering if you really have feelings for that other person or if you more so are using that as like a crush crutch to how you're really feeling about your partner yeah that's a good point yeah and it says an uncountable amount of time so like a lot. a lot seems like a lot of cheating has gone on. Do you think that once a cheater, always a cheater? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I think it could be. I think if it's in that same relationship, I think if it's once a che- like in specific, I, I don't think the per it's a person necessarily, but I think that yeah, if if it's in a relationship, once once one of them is cheated, I feel like that's those those like you said, those feelings of resentment never truly go away because that trust has been broken, mm-hmm. and it's so hard to build trust back up. It's so easy to lose it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. So, I think it would be very hard to have a relationship with someone who has cheated on you. On you specifically. However, I think that I don't believe in the once a cheater, always a cheater yeah. thing. I think a lot of the time, yes, but I think you can make a mistake like that and actually learn and grow mm-hmm. yeah, and agree. enter into another relationship. Um, I think it would be very hard to do that. And people do it, so it's not impossible, but to do it with the person that you cheated on yeah yes um however it would i don't know i think it'd be also challenging to to be with someone who has cheated on others in the past because then are you in a place where Mm. i don't know i'm getting off topic but i don't think i don't think she's (laughs) playing or this person's playing that yeah i guess that's the the real question here i don't think so i think we need more information though about what exactly is going on with this person you've never met to really like make a judgment on if you are playing them. Yeah, right. I agree. Um, but if you haven't acted on it, probably not. I Maybe. guess probably not. I don't know, guys. This is hard. Yeah. God, I don't know. I guess like what defines a crush? Right, right. I don't really know what the definition of that is. I think it could be different or, yeah, for, for people. Mm. So. Well, you're going to make the judgment call on this one. What do you think? I would say you are not playing based on what we're reading. Based on what we're reading. Yes. I agree. But I, I will think agree. it's something to keep an eye on. It's a slippery slope. Yes. <laughs> With and peace and love. Am I playing this guy? I was in a long-term relationship where I was being cheated on for an extended period of time. I left that relationship around the beginning of November. And by the time the new year started, I was ready to meet new people. So I did what any late 20 single lady does. I downloaded Tinder. I made some matches right away, and one in particular stood out. For the sake of the story, we'll call him Ben. Ben and I clicked right away. He was charming, cute, funny, and honestly, one of the kindest men I've ever met. We made plans to meet up, which we then rescheduled, and then I started getting anxious about everything. I don't think I expected to meet someone I really connected with that early on, and it scared me. I was still so worried about going through all the same things I'd gone through with my ex again. When I explained this to him, he was so understanding and kind about it. He told me I had an energy he thought was so rare that I was so beautiful, compassionate, and kind, and things ended on a note where I felt like we might be able to pick that things back up later on. A month and a half passed by, and I'd been thinking about him a lot. I've gotten to the point where I feel like I could be ready to start something, and I'm also at the point where I don't want to miss an opportunity with someone I've connected with just because I felt scared. So I messaged him on Snapchat, just asking how he was, and he didn't open it. 
So I decided to see if we were still matched on Tinder, and we are. So I messaged him there too. I even bought read receipts for that one conversation so I could see if he read it or not. People can buy that? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh my God. So it's in... Wow, that's like completely out of your control. Yeah. That's like fucked up in my yeah, opinion. That is. What the hell? Honestly, smart business move for Tinder though. Yeah, there's, that's I'm such there's a people valuable like, feature. I need to know if they've opened it or not. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it says, it's been more than a week since I sent both messages and he hasn't opened either of them. I know there's a possibility he doesn't use either app anymore, but I can't shake the feeling that maybe he feels as if I'm playing him now that I'm trying to contact him again. Am I playing him without realizing it? Am I being a creep here? Am I being crazy? Please help, ladies. Ooh, what do you think? Um, I don't. I feel like maybe Carly would have better insight than I do. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I feel like Carly should maybe handle all of these since none of us have dated in like ten years. In my opinion, <laughs> I think it's a little like, like isn't the point of Tinder to like talk to a bunch of people? So he very well could have found someone else, or maybe it wasn't as serious to him as it was to you and he's just kind of like over you which i'm not trying to sound like an asshole but like i feel like you've already reached out to him and i think if he was interested he probably would have said something i agree um i agree as someone who's been in a similar a similar situation i'm also this girl sometimes um it sucks like being rejected sucks yeah yeah. and i don't think that you're necessarily playing him yeah i was gonna say how is she playing him i think i'm confused about that she's saying i think because she's like reached out to him and like at the beginning she kind of told him like her situation she wasn't ready to get in a relationship yet Uh, um you know she's kind of wanted to like wait it out like i mean i'm not gonna lie like soon after my breakup i was on tinder i was matching with people left and right and i was going on dates you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so i can kind of relate to this like very very personally um I mean, I don't think she's being a player because no, I mean, I think that I mean, after the second, third message that you don't get responded to, then maybe give it up. There's yeah. many other men in the world. Right. There's mm-hmm. they're infinite. Um, So maybe just like maybe, they're just, infinite. <laughs> maybe just move <laughs> on. Like, I mean, yeah, like maybe Plenty this, of fish. Was, right. There's so many fish. Yeah. Isn't being ghosted on a dating app kind of par for the course? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Can I can I share an experience that yeah. I just had this last weekend? Yeah. Match with this guy. He's really sweet. We had it we hit it off really really well. Did you meet him? Not yet. Well, okay. no. No, we never I, we never met. So, uh we were just having a little chat like back and forth, like little like cat and mouse kind of game. Yeah. He was like, "Let's, you know, let's meet up for drinks." We were going to do like sometime this week. I went back y- yesterday or Saturday to see when we had like agreed on the date and stuff. This motherfucker unmatched me unmatch See? you yeah and does that mean you can no longer message him yep he's gone he's gone right? wow. he's disappeared from my app interesting and it's God, like that's brutal man i know and i'm like we literally just set up a date i literally put you in my calendar holy um, shit so i mean I'm, i mean like obviously like it sucks being rejected but it is literally par for the core yeah god um, Crelly, i am too weak and sensitive to date <sighs> i give you major props i would be so offended oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, no i'm yeah. not yeah you would be <laughs> i'm not I'm, i take it so personally be like <laughs> did i do <laughs> no i literally like i was spiraling so do people not really share their phone numbers then um personally i don't share my phone number unless we're actually gonna meet okay because okay. you know just in case like the app stops working or something yeah. or whatever you know what i mean um but i usually don't share numbers until after we meet or right b- okay. right before we meet i don't want people to have my phone so it's number. possible he like was dating other people and something became more serious with yeah. them and he's like i gotta get off here or and something then, like that yeah and like and i, I believe with tinder and with Hinge, for sure, if you've matched with somebody, I think you can still see their profile, um, even if they like, even if they pause their profile because you guys have mm-hmm. matched in the past, right? Oh, so maybe see. he's just like, maybe he's just no longer on the apps, and his account is still. I mean, since you match with him, it's still it, it's still visible to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, chances are that either he's not on there anymore, and he's like, you know, yeah, yeah. So I mean, and I get it too. I mean, I like messaging on those apps are is kind of annoying yeah. sometimes too. Yeah. Dating yeah. is literally just who's the cat, who's the mouse. You know Sounds what I mean? It's brutal, man. Yeah. I could never. Ain't fun. Well, to get back to our friend here. Oh, yeah. Our Sashi. Um, I don't think you're playing him. I don't understand how you can play someone who's not playing with you. <laughs> well, yeah. she means like she reached out, then she was like, never mind, I don't want anything, and now she's like reaching out again. Like, is he like, you know, maybe he's that- Maybe he's protecting his energy. Or yeah, he just got in another relationship. I don't think you're playing him. Nah, nah. I think probably. I think maybe good for you for being send honest. one more message if you really want to, and mm-hmm. after that, I would just move along. Let it die. Clearly, 
it wasn't meant to go any further than it has. I don't you know? think you're being creepy or crazy. Mm-mm. No, 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 I don't think so. You just don't know what stage of life he's in. Now. Messaged him every day for the run, yeah. and maybe time that's a little creepy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, for sure. You know, nothing too bad. No. Okay. Well, final ruling: not played or playing. Sorry, not playing. Not playing. <laughs> that's all we're gonna have time for today. However, we want to do more of this segment. Just a reminder, guys. This is supposed to be if you think you are playing someone. Or you are being played. So as much as we find your stories interesting to hear stories Just of like playing or playing someone, yeah. um, this segment is specifically when you have a question or looking for advice and guidance from this table of experts in Correct. dating. A- yes. Panel of experts here. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, Corelli, thank God for Corelli because yeah, we are so Corelli clueless. brings a great perspective to things. Yeah. I'm, not great at, I'm not good at dating, but here we are doing it. <laughs> well, I mean, you're good at dating. What, what do you mean good at dating? I think you're good at dating. Yeah. Yeah. I give you props. I'm huh. lazy as hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like making if dates. If only you guys knew that, yeah, like no. all the dates that I actually cancel. I mean, yeah, because people are clawing at me. I'm kidding. But no, <laughs> it's no. Dating out here is not fun. Um, I don't know. Single life is more fun than. No, it's not. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I, <laughs> really saying, saying, uh, yeah. I think you handle it really well because you do have that chill personality, I think, where, you know, your your understanding to other people mm-hmm. and you're you don't get as sensitive, I think, as I would be. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but you have such an open mind. Yes, that's I what ch- I mean. You're just open. I don't put my heart on my sleeve. Like I I'm I'm not guarded either though. Yeah. Like I really do want to just go with the flow and see what happens. Like I'm very open to like human connection in general. Yeah. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then um, I mean on to the next. That's totally. right. That's right. Yeah. And that's the tea on that. All right, guys. That's sure. gonna be it for our episode today. We'll be back next week, of course. Thanks for hanging with us. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you on the next session. Run and tell them. Keep, Keep it, it fresh. fresh.